Did you know space is completely silent? There's no atmosphere which means no medium for sound to travel. A realm where silence reigns supreme, amplifying the isolation astronauts may experience. Just consider the profound solitude, wrapped in the echoing silence of the universe. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles zooming in from outer space could be deadly to humans. Now let's dive deeper into this captivating subject. Cosmic rays are not rays in the typical sense we might imagine. Instead, they are highly energetic particles, predominantly made up of protons and atomic nuclei. They travel through the cosmos at nearly the speed of light, carrying energy that is far beyond what human-made particle accelerators can produce. These cosmic invaders originate from various sources. Some are born in the fiery hearts of the sun and other stars, while others are the remnants of supernova explosions, the cataclysmic deaths of massive stars. The most energetic among them, however, are believed to come from distant galaxies, propelled by phenomena we are yet to fully understand. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? So there are particles zipping through space, why should we care? Well the concern lies in their potential impact on human health. When cosmic rays collide with molecules in our body, they can cause damage at the cellular level, leading to mutations. Over time these mutations could potentially lead to cancer. However, before you start panicking let's remember that we live on Earth, a planet with its own protective shield, the Earth's magnetic field. This invisible force field deflects most of the cosmic rays, preventing them from reaching the surface. It's like having a personal bodyguard against these tiny high-speed invaders. But what about astronauts in space? They are outside the protective shield of the Earth's magnetic field. That's a valid concern. Astronauts in space are indeed exposed to higher levels of cosmic rays. This is one of the significant challenges we face in planning long-duration space travel and habitation. So, while we marvel at the beauty and wonder of the cosmos, it's essential to remember that it's also a realm full of dangers. Without the protection of our planet, we stand naked in the face of these cosmic bullets. Our universe is not only vast beyond comprehension, but it's also expanding at an accelerated rate. A concept that might seem counterintuitive at first, yet it's a fundamental aspect of our reality, proven by astrophysics and cosmology. This idea of an ever-expanding universe was first proposed by Belgian astronomer Georges Lemaitre in the early 20th century, and it was later supported by Edwin Hubble's observations. Hubble noticed that galaxies, those immense clusters of stars, gas, and dust, seem to be moving away from us, and the farther they are, the faster they're receding. This phenomenon, known as the Hubble-Lemaitre law, is the cornerstone of the theory of the expanding universe. But what does it mean that the universe is expanding? It's not as straightforward as blowing up a balloon, space itself is stretching and galaxies are getting carried along for the ride. It's like raisins in a rising loaf of bread, as the dough expands the raisins move farther apart from each other, and what's more, this expansion is accelerating, driven by a mysterious force we call dark energy. This omnipresent energy is causing galaxies to move apart faster and faster, and we are yet to fully grasp its nature. So, what does this mean for the future of our cosmos? If this acceleration continues, galaxies outside our local group will eventually recede so far and so fast that their light will no longer reach us. We'll find ourselves in a lonelier, darker universe with distant galaxies disappearing from our view. But don't worry, this won't happen for billions of years, and by then, who knows what other cosmic surprises we'll have discovered. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and its expansion is just one of them. As we speak, the universe is getting larger, pushing everything further into the abyss of space. This might sound daunting, but it's also a testament to the incredible dynamic nature of the cosmos we're part of. Black holes, the cosmic beasts, are regions of space where gravity is so strong, nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine the sheer force that can trap the fastest thing in the universe, now that's power. But what are black holes really? Born from the remnants of massive stars, black holes are the ultimate endgame of stellar evolution. When a star about 25 times the size of our sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity. This violent implosion sends shockwaves that blow off the outer layers of the star resulting in a supernova. What remains is a dense core, or if it's dense enough, a black hole. Black holes are space's enigmatic entities. Their gravitational pull is so intense that they distort space and time around them, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. They warp the fabric of the universe, bending light and twisting the cosmos around them, and at the heart of a black hole, 
time stands still. That's the beauty and terror of relativity. Now let's talk about spaghettification, a term as bizarre as the phenomenon it describes. If you were to fall into a black hole, tidal forces would stretch you into a long, thin strand like a piece of spaghetti. This is because gravity's pull is stronger at your feet than at your head, causing you to stretch vertically while compressing horizontally. Don't worry though, you won't feel a thing. The event horizon, the point of no return around a black hole would rip you apart long before spaghettification takes hold. In essence, black holes are nature's ultimate magic trick, making matter disappear seemingly without a trace. But remember, they're not just destructive, they're also creators, forging galaxies and shaping the universe as we know it. Fall into one, and you're stretched into a string of atoms before you vanish from existence. Space is a vacuum, devoid of air and matter and it's unkind to the human body. Picture this if you will, you're floating in the inky blackness of space amidst the stars and galaxies. It's serene and beautiful, but it's also incredibly deadly. This is because space in its natural state is a vacuum. It's void of air, of matter, of anything that human beings need to survive. Now let's delve into what would happen if you, an earthling, were to find yourself unprotected in this vacuum. Without the protective layers of a spacesuit, the harsh reality of space would quickly set in. One of the first things you'd notice is the depressurization. Here on Earth we live comfortably under the weight of our atmosphere. But in space there's no atmospheric pressure. This would cause the gases in your body to expand, leading to a condition known as ebolism. Your body would bloat to nearly twice its normal size. It's a gruesome image, but remember this is the stark reality of space. Next the oxygen in your body would begin to depressurize. You see, our bodies rely on pressure to keep oxygen in our blood. In the vacuum of space, this pressure is gone. The oxygen would rapidly escape from your bloodstream, leaving you with about 15 seconds before unconsciousness sets in. And it doesn't stop there. The lack of oxygen would lead to hypoxia, causing tissue and brain damage. Your eyes, too, would suffer as the fluids in them start to boil at the low pressure. But remember, this isn't meant to scare you away from space exploration, it's merely a reminder of the challenges that astronauts train to face and the harsh realities of the universe beyond our atmosphere. In the end, it's crucial to remember that space is not our natural habitat. It's a different realm, an alien environment that we're still learning to navigate. It's both mesmerizing and terrifying, a testament to the vast unknowns that still await us in the cosmos. Space, the final frontier, is far from a friendly place for us earthly beings. The speed of light is a cosmic speed limit, nothing can travel faster. This celestial boundary isn't just a measure of swiftness, it's a fundamental aspect of our universe, and it shapes our understanding of time and space. Imagine if you will, a universe without such a limit, a universe where we could zip from one galaxy to another in the blink of an eye. Tempting, isn't it? But alas, we live in a universe that plays by the rules of light. This speed limit, approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, is more than just a barrier to our exploration. It's a testament to the vastness of the cosmos. Even at this breakneck speed, it takes light from the sun about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us here on Earth. And the nearest galaxy to ours, Andromeda? The light we see from it today actually started its journey over 2 million years ago. The speed of light also has a profound impact on how we perceive time and space. In a phenomenon known as time dilation, time can appear to slow down for an object moving close to the speed of light, compared to an object at rest. This is not just theory, it's been proven with precise experiments, reinforcing the strange and wonderful nature of our universe. So when we gaze up at the night sky we're not just looking at stars, we're looking into the past, we're witnessing the universe as it was, not as it is. This is the haunting beauty of the cosmic speed limit. In the grand scale of the cosmos we are but fleeting sparks in the eternal darkness.